here in the last race. And in sixth position is Martin Brundle. It's amazing to see how little movement goes on. You wouldn't think that those components were actually the suspension that, as on any car, moves up and down and articulates. Look again at it. There's hardly any movement. That's not because it's solid. He's doing about 180 miles an hour at that point. Now he's turning in through a right-hander, a left-hander. But look how little roll there is on the car. The two horizontal surfaces, you can see the wishbones. Now, they locate the wheel to make keep it at the right angle. The diagonal bar, as Murray said, transmits the suspension load. When the wheel hits a bump, it does move, believe me, but it's only two or three millimetres, and we can hardly see that. You can almost detect it, but very, very little. Well, we're not going to see Damon Hill win. We're not going to see him extend his world test.